Бажаю здоров'я, шановні українці, українки. I wish you health, fellow Ukrainians. A report on the day of August 11th. In the morning we had a conference call. Military, intelligence, government officials. The conversation was accompanied by the sounds of air defense in Kyiv region. There were reports by commanders and ministers. The Ministry of Internal Affairs reported on the situation in the regions, the liquidation of the consequences of Russian strikes and the work of the state emergency service. I am grateful to all Ukrainian rescuers. The Ministry of Strategic Industries reported on the production of munitions and equipment in Ukraine. We are increasing the volume, constantly increasing. The security service of Ukraine is doing a good job against collaborators. Thank you, guys. In the afternoon I held a meeting of the National Security and Defense Council on military commissars, and there will be another meeting on the military medical commissions. We are constantly working with our partners at all levels. Head of the office Yermak, Minister of Foreign Affairs Kuleba, and the office specialized deputies Andriy Sibiha and Ihor Zhovkva worked with the ambassadors of partner countries on the peace formula, on getting countries to join. And I spoke with the president of Zambia, bilateral relations, the peace formula. Another country in the global south supports our initiatives. This is very important. We had a separate meeting with the chief of the main intelligence directorate, Budanov, commander-in-chief Zaluzhny, Navy commander Neish Papa, head of the security service of Ukraine, Maluk, and the Ministry of Infrastructure to discuss alternatives to exporting grain through the transit corridor. We are doing everything possible to ensure that Ukraine remains a guarantor of food security and that our people have access to global markets. And of course, the front line, every direction, every key effort, daily attention, daily support, daily reinforcement. I am grateful to everyone who is fighting for Ukraine, to all those who are now in trenches, on combat missions, at combat posts. I thank everyone who works for the state. Glory to Ukraine.